All right, guys, this video is gonna be about developing black and white film. Why? Every time I, in my country, you know, Dominican Republic, it is hard to find like a good lab to develop your film, something like with good quality, or sometimes they just don't develop black and white film. So this is kind of annoying. So every time I post a black and white role, people ask me where I develop my film how if i send it to us or i do something else the answer is i develop my own film and i'm gonna give you all the information that you need in order to you develop your own film so let's start this let's use the intro we got new intro guys all right so what do we need to develop our film First of all, we need a roll to develop. Where is it? It is here. This is the roll that we're gonna be developing today. It's Kodak T-Max 100. What else do we need? We need um, this, sorry. This is a changing bag. This is gonna be like our dark room. You will see how it works. You will need a tank. This is a Patterson tank. This is for two rails, two films at the same time of 35 millimeters, or it will be like one of 120 millimeters. You will need one of this. It's not exactly Patterson. They are not sponsoring this video, but this is a good one if you want. Uh, but there are other brands that you can use as well, as well, and they work perfectly. You will need this in order to measure your liquids, your chemicals, and the chemicals that we will be using in this video, it's gonna be, as a developer, we'll be using Kodak Professional HC 110. And as a fixer, we'll be using Info Rapid Fixer. You have to prepare both of them in order to, to you know, to have the measure that you need to develop your film. You will also need this thermometer. You need a pair of scissors. And if you can, you could you could use a can opener to open this. The can opener. Uh, what else do we need? Let me see. Let me see your hands. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I want to show you. I use this app in order to develop the film. This one is called Massive Depth Chart. It's just impressive. You should buy it. It's like ten bucks, but it's worth it. Trust me trust me trust me okay so let's start with the step number one what are we doing in this process we're gonna use the changing back the film and the tank uh, you need something to open this I use sometimes I use my keys sometimes I use can opener I don't know there's some there's a specific the tool to open this but I'm, I'm not gonna buy it I don't need it and I'm gonna teach you how to put this inside of this inside of this and after that what it comes is to use the liquids let's go all right let's start
So after we put our film in our tank, we have to use the chemicals in order to develop the film. This chemical is concentrate. It's the first time, I mean, not the first time I use it, but the first time I bought it. And I really like it because if you are using, for example, Kodak D75, you have to prepare like a bunch of chemicals and you have to use it. And now, because I'm not developing that often as I was developing before, I think this is the best option. Option. Sorry, so we have to dilute this and the formula that we're, we will be using is gonna be 30 plus one. So it's gonna be 31, um, 31 parts of water and one part of chemical. So it's gonna be 31 plus one, not 30 plus one, 31 plus one. So to measure this, I'll be using this with measures, you know, like 10 milliliters or two tablespoons, uh, two milliliters, five milliliters, that's what we'll be using. Um, to calculate how, we're gonna do a quick math on the phone. So let's use 320 milliliters of water and let's put it in 32 parts so each one is going to be 10 milliliters i just have to ref to fill this at 300 milliliters and then i'll be at one part of the liquid 310 here this is 300 to 300 and then let's add 10. let's make sure that everything that we will be using is pretty clean I'm gonna put the drink here. For this, I'm using the application that I showed you before in the iPad. Make sure, let's make sure this is pretty clean. Um, let's fill this till 300. More. 300. Okay. Now let's use. Let's put. Let's add 10 more. Just removing the 10 and recomplete it. Completing the 10, the 300. There we are. This is 310 milliliters right now. I'm gonna be taking 10 milliliters from here. Ten milliliters on the water. So make sure this is clean, and we have to mix it. To mix it, we will we will be using the thermometer. Let's mix it. And now we are ready to start developing. We need to mix also the fixer, but I have already mixed the fixer because this is something that you can reuse. The, the chemicals, the developer, you cannot reuse it, but the mixer, you can. So I have my, my fixer here. No sponsor. Okay. So the first thing right now we're gonna do is we're gonna wash this for one minute. We're gonna use the temperature of the water you can use your watch in order to do it. And let's first use, let's put water in it. And let's put water for one minute. It's important that this water that we were using to rinse the, the, the film first, is at the same temperature that our chemicals are going to be. So, I'm gonna put this down. And I'm, just, I'm doing this movement in order to, you know, rinse really well the film before we start doing the process of developing. Um, probably you'll be asking why I haven't 
teach you or show you a uh, stove, ba stove bath. And I just use water for that. The stove bath is, somebody told me that it's really bad for the environment, so I decide to stop using that. Because with water, if you rinse it really well, you, you can have the same results. So this is it, this is one minute with the rinse water. Make sure that our tank it is really well closed. And now um, we're gonna start the process. So with this film, with this chemical, and with this temperature, the development time is gonna be six minutes. The cool thing on this app is this app show you every step of the process. As you can see, six minute develop it, then one minute of stop bath, then fix it for five minutes, and then rinse it again for two more minutes, and then a final wash for 10 minutes and 30 seconds. We are ready to store. Um, put the chemicals in it. This is 300 millimeters. We, it works with 252. The first minute of this process, we will be moving the tank like this. This is the first six minute. Once you do this couple of times, you will be, you will feel really comfortable. So you can use rolls that you don't feel like that happy or that excited or you can use rows as a test just to learn how to do this process. But once you master this process, everything's gonna be pretty easy for you and you will save a lot of money and you will save time because labs tend to to spend like one week to develop one role. But you have to understand that because they have a lot of role to develop and I mean, who are you? I mean, they're not gonna develop your role first. So this is the first minute of this. I always do this in order to all the bubbles that are in, in you know, between the chemical and the roll, they move up and they uh, let the process be like more perfect. You just let it rest there for, um, the, the, the app is gonna tell me when to move it again. So this is the best way in order to develop your film. Like it's gonna be, I guess it's gonna be one minute moving the tank, and one minute no. Or just move the first minute, and then wait one minute without moving it, and then move it for 10 seconds, and that's gonna alternate every 30 seconds, I guess. I can, I can remember honestly, cause I've been working on other things, and, and I have a couple of months without doing this. And it's good to clear that, for example, Every roll, every roll, for example, call out T-Max 400, T-Max 100, Tri-X, they all have different timing, different timing in order to, I mean, to develop the roll, to get the same results with the same chemicals. It, it's gonna depend on the roll, it's gonna depend on the chemicals that you're using, so the timing is gonna change. It's not always the same. But with these chemicals that we were we are using right now and this roll that we shoot, this is the time that we, we're gonna have. So it's it's good for you to know that it's different timing for each roll. It's gonna be one five fifty minutes quiet now and ten more minutes, ten more seconds for it. Sorry, fifty seconds without moving in. And now 10 seconds moving. I always do that. Always, always, always. We're halfway now on the developing process. Uh, remember that after that, what we are going to do is we're going to rinse the film really well for one minute. I. 
I think we can do it for a little bit longer. Cause it, because it is not so bad, we have to be really sure that the developer the developer is going to be out of the role. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to rinse it really well in order to, to get the best results. So it's going to be one minute. You will see how we will do it. And let's hope everything goes well. Four minutes and 15 seconds right now so the next one is gonna be the last one I guess and after that we're gonna throw all the chemicals I mean all the developer because we we cannot use it I mean we could use it one more time I think for another role but I'm not gonna I, I don't have another role to develop so I, I'm not gonna do it so I'm gonna throw that The last one, 10 more seconds, and then raise it and use the fixer. So that's the last one. We just we will have just to wait. Uh, to this till the six minutes are complete and then you know just throw this away have water in it put water in it rinse it really well and uh, use the fixer after that 30 more seconds and we will be almost halfway almost halfway remember the process is first rinse it for second developer then stop bath Fixing, hypoclear, and a final wash, and then you will you'll be able to see all your pictures. Time is over. Now if you can see the water, the chemicals are in a different color now. They are now the same color that they used to be. Let's open the water. Let's make sure it's not it's not that cold, but it's not hot. Either. And continue. We put water in the later rinse and put it on. Move it a lot. And I change the water. Put more, put more water in. Four times. The one to get best results consistent, you have to do the same thing you did, like you know, again with every roll, the same thing, and that's the only way you can have consistency on your on your film, on your developing process. This is why I use this app. Because this app allows me, you know, to, to do the things the way they should be done. I repeat, we're doing this with water because step back is not good. Fixer on it. I repeat, the fixer is something that you can use multiple times. Let's put the fixer and let the app know that we are in that process now. The fixing process is gonna be the same thing right now. We have to, we will have to move this for a minute. The first minute.
after this process with the fixing with the fixer we will be able to see the images but I'm gonna rinse it first just to you know make sure that all this chemical is out of my of my roll but just for you to know after this process you will be able to see all your pictures these chemicals are very dangerous so make sure after you use it you clean everything really well so somebody can get to see them Remember the first one was for six. This is gonna be for five. Now, after the first minute of rest, comes this 10 seconds of movement. I'm gonna repeat this five times. You can see I'm doing this in the restroom, in the bathroom. You don't need a, to have a lab or to have a dark room in order to to develop your film. So stop making excuses and let's develop our film. If you want to support your local lab, it's it's okay. But if you don't, I mean, if you think you can do it, if you think you can, I mean, have better results can learn how to develop your own film. Probably in the future I'm going to make a video developing a uh, color film, but right now I'm not so interested in that. Probably, I don't know. Let's see what happens. of these kind of things there are something that does it automatically like a jobo or a hobo i don't know how it's pronounced there's a machine where you just turn it on put the chemicals and you just forget about it you don't have to be moving with your hands the tank but we are not rich it's pretty expensive that Fixer. Let's put the fixer back inside. And you see, every time you use it, the, the fixer changes its color. So right now we have to rinse it. Let's leave the water running for a couple of seconds while we put so You can see from here to here, it's a kind of different color, right? Put it back because we can use it a couple of times more. rinsing this and I'm gonna continue recording the video in a while but you can see images in the 
in the world. So we did a very good job in this spot right now. Let's keep it, rinse it for a little while, just to make sure the fixture is out of the, of the world, and we will be ready to go.